are going to be the experts for your team. Do you know what expert means? It means you're the super smart one with all the information. But do you know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to teach your team. So write your name. You no, remember I said I'm switching groups this week. So write your name on your sticky note with your pencil. You want to write it however you want. Physical features. Can you say that? I didn't hear everybody. Physical features. Let's whisper it. And that just means something you can see about you, okay? So this is all about the physical features of the bald eagle. Point to the word bald eagle. It's the very first two words. Bald eagles. Let's highlight bald eagles because we're talking about not dinosaurs, but bald eagles. Yep, and that's physical features. So, so far you've highlighted physical features and bald eagles. Good job, everybody. Okay, I'm going to read and then I want you to echo me. I'm going to read all the way to the period. Bald eagles have a long yellow bill. Bald eagles have a long yellow bill and have white feathers on their head. And have white feathers on their head, tail, and wing tips. The body has brown feathers. What? The body has brown feathers. Let's look at that sentence. What do you think is important? Bald eagles have a long yellow bill. You think that's important? Find the word long, long yellow bill. Bald, if you point to the words, bald eagles have a long yellow bill. Good job, Azalea. Long yellow bill. Long yellow bill, those three words. Good job. And have white feathers. Does white feathers seem important? Yeah. Let's find white feathers. White feathers. Just white feathers. And where are their white feathers? On their head. So let's find the word head. Tail and their 
clean tips. Okay, so we have have white feathers on their head, tail, and wing tips. Good job, Patient. Good job. What color feathers does it have on its body? Brown. So let's highlight body and brown feathers. So the next part's just kind of an interesting fact. They can fly up to 100 miles in one hour. Wow. They could fly all the way to San Francisco almost in one hour. That's very fast. That's faster than your mom and dad can go on the freeway. Whoa. They can also swim. Did you know that? Okay. So now we're going to do a little bit of a sketch. So now you're going to need your pencil. Put your lid back on your marker. This box is for sketching because when we sketch it, it helps us remember in our brain. So I put a picture down here below just in case you need an idea how to draw. And we don't care if it looks perfect because we're just trying to remember for our brain. So let's draw. Let's try its head first. I'm going to draw my little head here because I'm going to look down here. I'm going to draw a head with a beak. It is kind of hard, but it just has to look sort of eagle-ish. So this is just the head part. See how I drew that? An eye? Yep, and you can put an eye. And see how it's just kind of an outline? It doesn't have a lot of details, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. Nope, it doesn't. We just want to know that's its beak. And then we're going to make some wings. Make two wings and a body. Okay. And then the bottom. Yep. And then its tail, good job, sticks out like this. And what's it going to stand on? Right now it can't stand on anything. What do we need to add? Let's add some legs and then its talons, its claws, right? So when you are teaching your friends this, you have to show them how to draw it, right? You just drew it really fast. Awesome, huh? Okay. Okay? So now we're going to draw some lines from the words to the picture we just drew. So find the words long yellow bill in the writing that we highlighted up here. Long yellow bill. Yep, we're going to take and we're going to draw a little line and connect those words to the part of the picture. Watch me. Use your pencil line. See how I drew that? And if I want to remember, I could actually use my highlighter because it's yellow. And you could draw It's okay, it looks perfect. And they're gonna take here's long yellow bill right here. Draw it with your pencil right to its beak. A bill is another word for a beak. Alright. White feathers on its head, tail, and wing tips. So where do the white feathers go? We want white feathers on its head, its tail. And it's wing tips. So we can just go down to the wings. Okay? So white feathers on the head. So you can draw a line from the head to the head. Good job. Head. Good job. Tails and wing tips. Perfect. Okay, here's the word head. Find that and draw a line all the way to the head. Tail. And the tips of its wings. <laughs> Tips of its wing. Okay. So see, you have that, and you have all your information on its physical features. But that's not all. Ready to turn it over? Flip. Oh my goodness. Diet. Let's all find the word diet at the very top and highlight it. Diet? Diet. What does that mean? I don't know. It's the date. Yes, we're going to date with the bald eagle. Nope. Diet is a fancy scientific word for what something eats. What did you eat for lunch? Sandwich, chicken nuggets, right? For that is your diet. School? Cheerios could be your diet for breakfast, right? Does a bald eagle eat Cheerios? No. Does bald eagle eat cookies? No. It eats what? Fish. It's diet. The thing that it eats, it says bald eagles eat mostly fish and can tear the fish with its sharp talons. So let's just highlight eat mostly fish. Eat mostly fish. Now I have a picture here of an eagle. What's it doing? What's it eating? It's eating a fish. Do you see its white feathers on its head? Yes. Do you see the white feathers on its tail? Right? 
hard to see the wingtips a little bit, but... I don't have it Mm-hmm. Yep. There's so many fish. So all we... He eats mostly fish. So all we have to draw in this box is what it eats. We're going to actually draw a fish in the box. Do you know how to draw a fish? Yeah. So this is my easy fish. Watch this. Can we draw another one? You can eat many, you put many fish in here. Or you can do it a different way. Small fish. You can do it whatever way you want it. So draw maybe five fish in can your box. Can you use it with this? Um, you can draw, how about draw three with your pencil and two with your highlighter. Okay, I'll draw the two. So, you have to draw which box? Uh, this top box, because that's where its diet goes. That's what it eats, not cookies, but fish. Okay. Okay, go ahead and draw it in there. I draw a fish right here. I made a fish. There's our fish. Oh, our fish. You can make any kind of fish you want to. And if your friends cry and say, do you want to draw a fish? You're just going to say, yes, you can. It's easy. Right? And we'll add fish. some water here. Look at my fish. Very nice. We eat mostly Brayden. fish. So remember the last time we drew a line from the word fish to the picture, right? So we're going to draw a line to each fish from the word fish. It's kind of like a little. Good job. So, diet is what it eats. What does a bald eagle eat? Mostly fish and kindergartners. No. Does it eat kindergartners? No. Snatch you up off the table. Oh, gosh. I eat fish. Do you eat fish? I don't. Do I do. Okay. Last things. 